Today I got a fresh drop for you guys. This one's gonna be from Paris Corner. It's Phenomenal Couture's. And it's part of their North Stag collection. Fresh drop, stay tuned. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 411 and my name is Dwayne, AKA, you know what my AKA is. Uh, so guys, it's been a while since I've uh, made a video. I want you guys to know I'm not forgetting about the 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, with recent news of uh, Mason and Hall and Brad Mutafa pulling some of their fragrances or delisting some of their fragrances, I think I'm gonna make uh, the winner get two uh, five mils of um, fragrances of my choice. Uh, so stay tuned for that. The 500 subscriber giveaway is still live. It's still going on. I'll post a video on how to enter and how you guys could win that um, giveaway. So guys, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Phenomenal Quatours. This is from Paris Corner. All right, very elegant. This is part of their North Stag collection. Uh, I believe they have about four or five fragrances from the North Stag collection, guys. Uh, again, packaging is amazing. As you can see, there's quality there. Now, this is a bit of a sticker. I will have an unboxing uh, on the channel, like a 15 to 30 second unboxing, so definitely check that out. Uh, but guys, the packaging is pretty good. Um, not sure if it's something I wanna keep or you know, get rid of, but so far, I've held on to it. All right, it's uh, extract the parfum, 100 ml. All right, now you're probably wondering what is it supposed to be with notes from Paris Corner. Uh, you know, they do do a lot of takes on uh, other fragrances, niche uh, designer fragrances. Uh, guys, this is Paris Corner's own fragrance. In a sense, what they've done is they've taken um, Creed Virgin Island Water and they've taken Tom Ford Soleil Blanc and they've combined them. They've added some extra rum and I guess a bit of tobacco as well. Uh, now in your head that sounds amazing. You're wondering what um, those combinations will smell like. I'm gonna give you my best interpretation of what this uh, smells like with all four of those facets mixed into one. Uh, by the way, these fragrances, or this fragrance I got from a Fragrance Bar. Uh, no affiliation with them, but they are in the city. They're actually um, probably about 20 minutes from where I live. I checked them out one day after um, a dentist appointment, and I was very ple pleasantly surprised with what I found there. So again, this is from Fragrance Bar. So let's get into the uh, fragrance itself. Let's see how this bad boy opens up. All right, so as you can see, uh, it says North Stag Phenomenal Quatours in there. All right, the bottle sits like that. Like I mentioned, as far as presentation, guys, this is beautiful. This is one that you wouldn't want to discard too quickly. So here is the bottle itself. It is a gold translucent bottle. All right, very good to look at. This will be amazing on your shelves. Um, you do have that cap that comes off. It's plastic, but it does have a metallic feel to it. All right, a bit of weight. You have pretty much gold on the atomizer. Uh, you see the um, North Stag emblem on the front there. Hopefully that's showing up. And you have the uh, Phenomenal Couture's and also North Stag at the bottom, okay? So again, a Virgin Island water uh, mixed with Creed Soleil Blanc with some added tobacco, added rum. Again, sounds amazing um, when your mind kind of connects all four of those things. So I'll get you guys an impression of what I get from this. Very good atomizer from what you guys could see there. Okay, so this is gonna be a scent that's gonna be great for the um, spring, um, summer, maybe into fall, but more so spring and summer. What I'm saying is it's gonna be more of a warm weather fragrance. And I say that because off the top, you do get some citrus. Uh, it's a citrusy opening. You get some citrus, uh, a bit of Neroli's in there. It's kind of fresh at the same time. You get that freshness. Not bubblegum fresh, but more of a airy, uh, ozonic type of freshness. It's very different. Uh, this is different from anything I do have in my collection. Um, I'm not gonna lie, first sniff, I was kind of um, taken aback. Uh, I do get some of the Celia Blanc in here, but there's other facets in there as well that mixes well with it. A bit of spiciness up top as well, so uh, citrus, spiciness. Um, 
I feel there's a bit of sweetness in there as well, but again, there's a lot of uh, citrus and a bit of pepper that's sitting on top of that sweetness. So it is pretty balanced. I do, I do like it. The more I smell it, the more I like it. Now, it's been about, I'm gonna say about two months since I've had this fragrance. I want to bring you guys a review a lot sooner, but life gets busy, life gets in the way. Um, but from those two months of wearing this around the house, uh, Word outside a couple times as well. I've grown to like it. I think as the weather warms up, I could appreciate something like this and you could appreciate something like this as well. But um, it's definitely a, uh, as far as how you want to dress with this, it's definitely a white polo, white button up type of uh, fragrance, linen, if you're wearing linen, this will go great with that. You're gonna stand out because as I mentioned, this doesn't smell like anything I have in my collection. And this definitely stands out. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot in the summertime. Um, I think uh, it's gonna be something you can wear to the office as well. It's not gonna be off-putting. It's not intruding. Uh, it's not too loud either. The projection is pretty good. As far as projection, I project for about an hour and a half. Uh, you're gonna get roughly about five hours of longevity. Again, nothing crazy. Again, it's more of a summertime scent. So let's jump to the Fragrance Bar uh, website where we could find the notes of this fragrance, okay? So we have in the top, pink pepper, neroli, and lemon. Um, I guess lemon would be more of a better take instead of saying citrus. It's more of a lemony uh, type of scent. So pepper, some spices, and lemon, again, definitely a different type of opening from what I'm used to. If you're a person that loves your um, gourmands, uh, this will be a step in another direction. But again, as the weather changes, your taste has to change along as well. So in the top, we have pink pepper, uh, neroli, lemon. In the middle, we have rum, java vetiver oil, clary sage. And in the base, tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and styrax. So as I mentioned, there's a bit of sweetness um, underlying with this. Uh, that may be the vanilla bean. The tobacco, guys, is isn't prominent in this. I don't get a prominent tobacco smell. Again, as it dries down, the tobacco does reveal itself a little bit more, but what you get pretty much with this fragrance is the lemon citrus, um, the neroli. Um, you do get a bit of spice up top, and you get a bit of sweetness in the base as well. The clary sage, not something I'm familiar with, but I'm sure that's um, rounding the scent as well, because again, this scent does smell different. It's gonna be more of a crisp uh, type of fragrance, uh, summer, daytime, spring, high heat. That's the kind of vibe this one is given. Um, is it a must cop? I'm gonna say no, all right? Not everything you need to cop, or if you do wanna cop everything, get a 10 ml or get a sample before you actually cop it. I'm gonna say that this one is great. I thought about selling this, but again, the more I spray it, the more I liked it, the more I wore it, the more I kind of understand what it's supposed to do. So I'm not gonna get rid of it. Uh, I thought about it for about the first couple of days that I had it, but again, with more and more aware, I start to kind of um, fall for it. Again, the bottle style is Good as well, that's a good incentive to keep it um, in my collection. Uh, but overall, not a must cop. Something definitely to get your nose on because it does smell different. If you're a person that likes uh, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, you're definitely gonna like this. Virgin Island water, I've not smelled before, but I do get a uh, crisp airiness, a crisp freshness uh, that I believe is where the Virgin Island water uh, DNA is coming from. Uh, but overall guys, uh, with this fragrance, I'm gonna rate this a Six and a half out of 10, uh, not a bad fragrance, but again, not a must cop. If you can save your money and get something you want, something you've smelled before, definitely do that. Uh, this will get a six and a half out of 10 for me, and that's gonna be my um, review on Phenomenal Couture's by Paris Corner, their North Stag collection. Guys, hope you guys are staying safe, stay blessed, and of course, smelling good. Wish you guys all the best out there, and if you're going through a tough time, prayers up to you, okay? See you guys in the next one. Peace.